this is uh, kanna babu today we are discussing about the project in our cshop.net we are developing a food court project it is a basically a windows forms application it is a desktop application we are developing the project for a particular food court that is available in a college and after developing the project this project will be installed in that particular food court so the main aim of the project is to um, here if you observe the main aim of the project is to develop a user friendly windows forms application which is used to maintain the food court where which is used to maintain the food and beverage details here beverages are nothing but cool drinks here if you observe clearly there are two types of users are there in our project one is administrator and the other one is sales person and here i clearly mentioned the role of administrator and role of sales person basically there are two types of modules are there so what is the role of administrator administrator can log in he will first log in to the application and he will add the item types and he will add the items and details he will update the stock he will add an employee that is a sales person and admin can view the sales details these are the um, roles that was done by the administrator and employee employee is a sales person actually in that food court two types of users are there one is administrator and the other one is employee the role of employee is employee will log in and employee will view the available items that are available in the food court and employee will make the sales and he will generate the bill and he will recover the forget password right so here so in order to work with uh, uh, the project first of all we must have the knowledge on the normalization that is first of all we have to design the database then only we need to concentrate on the front end application so what is normalization normalization is the database design technique which is used to reduce the redundancy and dependency of data so actually there are basically three types of normal forms are there one is 1nf and the other one is 2nf and the other one is 3nf first normal form second normal form and third normal form so a table is said to be in first normal form if it obeys two rules rule number one is single cell consists of single value and rule number two is each record must be unique right single cell consists of single value means generally the data will be stored in the form of table in table a single cell consists of only one value and each record or row must be what unique if any table is satisfying the above two rules then the table is said to be in first normal form so a table is said to be in second normal form if it obey the below rules rule number 1 is table must be in first normal form and in second normal form we need to identify the functional dependencies that is we need to identify the key attributes and non key attributes every key attribute must fully dependent on non key attribute if any non key attribute is not fully dependent on key attribute then remove that column and place in a separate table so in second normal form we need to identify the primary keys and foreign key constraints we will discuss about these uh, normal forms and will practically apply how to apply the normal forms all the things but just initially we are discussing about what is 1nf 2nf and 3nf so third normal form a table is said to be in third normal form if it obey below rules rule number 1 table must be in second normal form rule number 2 we need to identify the transitive dependencies transitive dependencies means indirect dependencies for example if um, if you consider something like if a is depending on b a is fully depending on b and b is fully depending on c then indirectly a is depending on c this type of relationship is called as transitive dependencies the relationship between a and b is fully dependent the relation between b and c is fully dependent or functional dependence but the relation between a and c is what transitive dependencies so in third normal form we need to identify the transitive dependencies in second normal form we need to identify the functional dependencies right now practically we'll try to apply this normal forms right so according to our project we are developing a project for a food court which is used to maintain the food and uh, beverage details so first of all we have to gather the data depending on the requirement 
so here my requirement is to maintain the food details like something like uh, have some data i will just gather some data depending on my so here we are gathering we, we will gather the data depending on the requirement and here if you observe clearly so here we are um, we are developing the project to maintain the uh, information about the food and beverage details so depending on the requirement i am gathering the data like item type item name quantity price of the item so in our food court they are selling the data like pizzas similarly burgers similarly puffs similarly cold drinks is it clear these all are the items that are available in that food court and if you observe clearly first of all we have to gather the data depending on the requirement and we have to arrange the data in the form of what table which is collection of rows and what columns so here also i gather the data depending on the requirement and now i am arranging the data in the form of what table which is nothing but collection of rows and what columns so here horizontal is called as what row and vertical is called as what columns so how many rows are there if you observe clearly there are nearly uh, four rows are there and how many columns are there four columns are there so here these all are columns this is my first column and this is my second column and this is my third column and this is my fourth column four columns are there so how many rows are there this is the first row pizza is first row and similarly burger is second row and puff is third row and cool drink is fourth row so table is not the intersection of row and column is called as what cell so here if you observe clearly here c pizza ch pizza chicken pizza and cheese pizza are belongs to what pizza how many chicken pizzas are there 20 chicken pizzas and 30 chicken uh, cheese pizzas are there in the food court and similarly the price of uh, Uh, chicken pizza is one twenty rupees, and the price of cheese pizza is hundred rupees. So this is called a single cell. So according to F court, the first normal form is selling that a table is said to be in first normal form if it obey two rules. Rule number one: single cell consists of single value. If you observe clearly, this this is a single cell. This cell consists of two values separated with comma. So there must not be any comma separated values that exist in a single cell. you have to remove that one uh, and you have to make your table in such a manner that single cell consists of single value now we didn't apply normalization for this table so this table is unnormalized form and in second normal form in first normal form second rule is no two records must be same if you observe the last two records these two records are same as i told that each record must be unique if two records are same remove that row or record if any duplicate record is there you have to remove that one so after applying first normal form your table will look like so in first normal form i removed the comma separated values and a single cell consists of single value so my table is perfectly exactly in which normal form second normal form sorry first normal form if you observe clearly here single cell consists of single value and each record must be unique now in second normal form we need to identify what key address